that 72 person class. Wow, that was a lot of work. Uh, every class I was so just exhausted after every single one. Uh, what I found is that the I was able to use some online tools to make that very large class in a lecture hall with non-movable seats and sort of an amphitheater approach to learning. I was able to take that and make it feel more like a small discussion class. I broke the students up into learning communities of 10 students each, um, sort of based on where they sat in the classroom. And then when I would traditionally do a discussion with the entire class, or um, small discussions and then a larger discussion, sort of debriefing in a traditional um, smaller class um, setting, I had those learning communities have those conversations and I wasn't able to be part of them because there were seven of them, um, but I had them then post notes from their discussion and if there was a question, what they, how they answered it online and then after class I was able to go back and look at the student responses and understand where each learning group in that very large classroom was. Uh, in their conversation about sustainability and human ecology. I could respond to them. If there were questions that were arising in one group, I would see it in their online journal, and then the next day in class, I could bring it up with the entire class. So it was a way to somewhat keep that large, or that full classroom discussion going, um, even though there was one of me and, at that point, 72 of them. In the entire class, the end project wound up being where I saw the most benefit of blending. The end project traditionally had been uh, each student doing an individual research project on a human nature coupled system and then presenting it to the class. There was no way we were going to do this with 72 students. There was no way we could have done 72 presentations. There was no way I could have read 72 final papers. So. I again grouped them in groups of three or four and had them do joint uh, research projects, had each of them do um, a sort of a variation on a group chosen theme, um, and then analyze uh, their different case studies together and do a discussion and reflection together. Um, but this was, these are juniors, they hadn't done a lot of group projects before. They had a strong distaste for the idea of having to work together uh, in a final project. So I set up these online um, discussion boards for each of the, the final project groups. And I had them post their case study ideas, and then their source list, then their case studies, their drafted case studies, um, to that uh, journal so everybody could see it back and forth, and so I could see what they were doing and give comments and feedback um, and help the dynamic if they were sort of spreading out too much or overlapping too much, help them get a good solid set of case studies that they could analyze together. And that wound up being really successful, and the presentations from that were way more interesting than the individual presentations had, had ever been. So I decided that that was a format I wanted to continue. Um, and the technology made that much more feasible.